Coin traders, what is going on? Thanks for joining me for the show. Looking at XRP, XRP on the ticker, Ripple's XRP. A lot of things going on right now. Huge pump since the election. So ever since last week, we're looking at gains of over 66%. So a lot of upside now, especially with a lot of hype and euphoria about a Trump pump. The other thing that's coming on right now is that we have a lot of rumors that Gary Gensler might resign as the SEC chairman this month. But specifically, we have heard that likely it will be by the end of December. So effectively, before Trump takes office and could effectively remove him or fire him. Now, the other thing that's going on right now, too, is that we have the Ripple CEO, Brad Garlinghouse, does teach for, tease for a potential partnership with Cardano following uh, Charles Hoskinson, obviously founder of Cardano here. So big talks between these two big projects, and that's leading to a lot of speculation right now for XRP. Now, so the move also has XRP boosted up a little bit more in the coin market cap rankings, currently number seven behind Doge. Doge obviously been pumping on a lot of the Department of Government efficiency hype as well. So a lot of meme coin hype specifically for Doge coming in, but not too far off for XRP still sitting nicely nestled at the number seven spot right now. So a lot more pump and especially looking at this chart, we can see we haven't seen prices this high since July of 2023, so over a year ago. Now, one of the things that we need to be extremely wary of is that if we go ahead and zoom out, for example, on this chart, we just see so many times where the price of XRP just pumps, dumps, pumps, dumps, pumps, dumps, pumps, dumps, pumps, dumps, pumps, dumps, dumps. forms this very big sawtooth type pattern. And if we actually look at the RSI, the relative strength index for the daily here, we can look at just all these different blips when we did see prices get above the 70 line here, indicating overbought conditions. And then every single time we can see big price rally, pullback, price went up, pullback, price went up, overbought, pullback, price went up, overbought, pullback, overbought, pullback. So we have to be very mindful right now, especially since if we look at the RSI, we're actually at some of the highest RSI levels that we have seen for the daily. So the last time we have seen RSI this high, was back in November of last year, so about a year ago, and then obviously immediately following that big more pullback as well. So from that high, we were looking at a pullback of about a little over 30%. From the last previous one as well, we were looking at a pretty big pump just off SEC lawsuit rumors coming in July of 2023, which is the last time that we have seen prices this high. So again, big, nice overbought conditions on the RSI, huge pullback on RSI, so big overbought, huge pullback. So if we actually look at percent pullback for that time, we were looking back at over 50%. So still plenty of opportunity for growth to the upside, obviously, especially with some great news announcements coming in for XRP does drive a lot of speculation and hype. But just know that every single time historically we have seen this, we do typically get a little bit more of that sell off in each of these events. So even if we do pump up a little bit higher, do have to be very mindful that the Realistic possibility and scenario could still be to pull back, but obviously now breaking above a lot of these previous resistance points do have a big opportunity to actually see plenty of support get found before ultimately finding longer term ability to see prices heading back to the upside if we do in fact find support on some of the previous highs. Zooming out now to check out the weekly chart, specifically just want to look at these exponential moving averages here because more or less they have been riding pretty flat with this overall space for about the last year plus. So as we can see, more or less price just has been sideways mostly, kind of right around the 60 cent level as that heart line with lower support coming down to about 50 cents. But what's significant about that is that does make the exponential moving averages very tight and close together. So if we go ahead and zoom in a little bit more, we can see that right now we're actually looking at a completely bullish setup where we do have, let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit more, the 20, Six below the 12, so the 12 on top, 26, and then the 50 now on bottom very nicely. So with this nice week over week bullish volume coming in, as well as seeing a kickoff of these exponential moving averages, we could have setting up patterns for a very, very big explosive move, kind of like we have had previously. So for example, back in 2020, the end of 2020, actually fitting in November, so about four years ago, had a very similar thing, very nice explosive move to the upside. And then once again, like we talked about, pretty big retracement. In this instance, though, still found the next nice upside move to kick off this exponential moving average before finding some upside, allowing that price to grow and then seeing the current trend high, which were the, the most recent cycle high, which did come in at 196.95.
So plenty of room to grow, but even from the current rate, we could still expect a little bit higher growth. So from current prices up to that previous trend high, 141%, so about a two and a half X to the upside. Like we say though, historically, we haven't seen too many opportunities where we do have explosive moves sustain for XRP in the longer term. So even looking at the previous all time high immediate pullback, obviously this was extended because we are on the weekly chart. So it does take a lot of time to actually pull back. And obviously from the most recent trend high as well, where we did settle just under $2 immediate pullback right after. And as you can see, just looking at all these other patterns, same sort of things do play out. Big moves to the upside, pretty sharp retracements almost as quickly after. So definitely have to be extremely mindful of that possibility and set up for XRP. But I think right now, because we are still looking at the cycle just getting started and a lot of bullish optimism about the potential SEC situation, as well as a partnership with Cardano, we could be looking at a much greater opportunity for a lot higher highs because we know that XRP just does typically get explosive as indicated by all these historical vertical moves. Now, do you want to actually look at the RSI relative strength index for this weekly as well? Because just like we talked about on the daily, every time we do get overextended, we can't really sustain that for that long. That's why this chart just has very quick periods where the price does get overbought and then immediately retraces back into the normal trading volume levels. So even like the all time high, very quick upside, very quick retracement. The previous trend high, very quick upside retracement, even the most recent trend high right below $2. Again, same sort of thing on this weekly. And then even the most recent time that we have seen an overbought condition on this chart, again, from July of 2023, barely blipped into the overbought above the 70 line quick retracement, just like we saw in the price, huge price movement upside, and then obviously a retracement to the downside. So right now, since we are approaching that 70 line current weekly chart showing RSI at 69.3, could get over the next week or so into this overbought level, but likely we're going to have to watch and monitor this because we know that it can't necessarily sustain that much. And typically we do see a huge retracement type pattern coming in for both the RSI as well as the price. Now, do you want to shift into the monthly chart? Don't talk about the monthly all super often, but specifically want to look at this RSI with how it relates to this overall exponential moving average for the RSI. Specifically looking at the last time when we did have price below the RSI, we actually had our break above and then we maintained price or RSI on top of this exponential moving average the whole cycle here until ultimately when we did break it, that was kind of a big indication of seeing a lot more downside action for not only price, but the RSI as well. So similarly, now we have already seen a bullish break and close on top of that. And because we have been sideways for so long, we did have a little period where we did see some monthly action below this RSI above it break below and then now a huge spike. So right now it could be looking very similar to like what we saw back in November of 2020, where we actually had a huge spike pullback retracing testing this exponential moving average and then likely setting up on our way to move into the all time high or the trend high rather, which pre previously was in the April candle of 2021. So we could have potentially five, six more months of ultimate upside for XRP here. And especially having weathered and sustained such a long accumulation period, despite all of the legal troubles and things like that. But do you kind of just want to zoom in here on this monthly and talk about some of the resistances for both price and support for this candle here on the current. So right now, huge explosive candle on this upside move blew through a lot of these candles, right? So just like we talked about, we haven't seen prices this high since July of 2023. So we know that one candle has actually knocked out over a year's worth of trading. So huge explosive move. And obviously with the current volume not closing yet, obviously we're only about halfway through the month, but we do still have plenty of volume coming in. So current volume about 511.263 million. And over the past year, we have seen the closing resistance just shy of 63 cents at 62.82. Obviously zooming out a little bit more, we can see that a zone is going to come in based off of that chart candle high from July of 2023 for that just shy of 70 cents at 69.89. So if we can maintain the current monthly close on top of this level, it would be a very, very big supportive zone, just indicated by all this previous resistance that we have seen over the last year plus. So hopefully this could sustain, even if we do see a retracement, would like to see this hold up before kicking off to see the next trend high for XRP.
Switching over into the hourly chart here, doing a little bit shorter term before we go ahead and wrap up. And big price explodes to, to the upside after breaking this big resistive point right at 73.79. So right now, even if we do see a pullback, we'd like to see this level hold up before continuing on. We have seen that, and especially right now on this one hour chart, we're looking at a very nice trend holding these exponential moving averages as this nice guide. So once this breaks and we actually see prices sustain and actually print multiple candles below, and if we do get a bearish cross here on the exponential moving average, that's going to confirm a trend change on this one hour chart, which, which will mean that the longer term charts are going to be expecting a top to come in for the term anyway. So that's why it is always so important to be looking at some of these shorter term charts, because we know that that's a guide for kind of where we're going to expect the top. And once we do see trend change on the shorter term, likely the longer term will experience its top coming in at that point. Overall, though, plenty of nice, healthy volume coming in. And obviously, a lot of this news has spurred a lot of interest and excitement and euphoria back into XRP. But with that, I would love to know everyone's thoughts, questions, comments, issues, disagreements, all that stuff down below in the comments sections or feel free to reach out on Twitter. But that is going to go ahead and wrap up the show for today. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, like and subscribe if you have not done so just yet. Exciting times up ahead in the crypto space. I so hope everyone's doing great. Stay safe, everyone. Take care, and I'll catch you back in the next video.